my name is Eli Reed. I got interested in the young people coming up in movies in uh, 1994, actually. And I started photographing uh, some of the people then and people I got to be friends with and just trying to photograph their world. Um, and it's like two different worlds, really, literally, because meanwhile, that's what a private little project. And at the same time, I'm doing work on the, you know, things of social, socially concerned things. Then I was asked by uh, Christopher Quinn, who had worked with on a feature movie in New York, to come with him to uh, photograph the Lost Boys of Sudan in, uh, in Africa, in uh, Kukuma, a refugee camp. The project started in um, 2001, in July, and came back on, uh, left, uh, left the refugee camp in northern Kenya on August 5th. And we continued working in the United States, uh, photographing the Lost Boys uh, getting integrated into society here. Everybody can't go and see what I saw, but you can see it through the pictures. And it's like uh, to have an opportunity to show people, to get people moved to action in whatever way they can. Uh, one way of, of helping is maybe buying some prints, knowing that the money is going to go for a good cause. Maybe you show your work to the public, let them take a look, let them see what's going on. And uh, the world doesn't change you know, in a fast way. It's always a slow way, but you can help it a lot. I think uh, putting the work on the walls and getting people to talk about it uh, is a really important thing. And the best place for seeing serious photojournalism is the Perfect Exposure Gallery in California on the West Coast and the Leica Gallery in uh, New York City. I think it's important that people have a chance to see what the real world is about and to see other realities they don't normally get the chance to see. So, I mean, I'm really happy that this place exists. <laughs> My favorite images are one of the uh, boys are just bouncing all over the place. They're, they're doing gymnastics because it's like wherever you go, people are the same. And these kids, they're still like other kids. I mean, they have to deal with it, to, what they have to deal with, but they're still normal kids. And they still have the exhilaration and energy of youth. But I think that's the picture that I really uh, like a lot because it's, it's about hope. And uh, you know, anything's possible if you set your mind to it.